Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on January 13th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Thank you for joining me. Starting out here, looking at our sun, as we do have a northern coronal hole region departing, and as well, equatorial Earth facing sunspot right now. But it is pretty faded, not much energy to it. There's more energy on the departing sunspot. Watch for that thing to come around in the next week or so. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see the plasma discharges from the sun. Yesterday we had quite an event in the Philippines. Now I think that there was a, an electrical discharge uh, globally yesterday. Something happened. There were a lot of volcanic eruptions and as well lightning. Uh, extraordinary lightning strikes and um, pyroclastic clouds with the tall volcano in the Philippines. Looking here at a real-time solar wind, we are calming down at 333 kilometers per second. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. And yeah, right away we're going to look at this 3.3 in Ormstown, Canada. That's right, 3.3 earthquake in Canada. That's just about uh, northeast of Cornwall. Lake Montana as well, Sealy Lake. 2.9 Mexico with a 4.1 now they had quite an eruption there as well yesterday the Galapagos Islands as well at 4.2 there down into South America 5.3 here in Argentina 130 kilometer depth Nadoy Island 4.8 332 kilometer depth And then, yeah, we had the 5.1 yesterday in the Philippines, where the tall volcano is. Manila, south of Manila. But things have calmed down the last uh, six hours, I, I should say, uh, except for Cascadia. Now, uh, we had a 5.0 in Alaska, and that was uh, overnight. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family around the world. Have a plan because we could be ready for the big one here on Cascadia Fault Line, San Andreas Fault Line. Let's get the, to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Show the latest disasters from around the world. Get an update on some volcanoes. Asosan Volcano, Winter Storm, Northwestern United States. Era of Japan, Tull in the Philippines, Senge in Ecuador. I wanted to check out the satellite imagery over the tall volcano to see if there is any more plumes coming through, and it doesn't look like there is. But apparently there is quite a lava dome on the volcano now. An active lava dome. So, friends and family in the Philippines, please stay aware and prepared. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. Going through some crazy times. Now, here we have a tropical cyclone Claudia who quickly formed into a Category 2, heading out into the middle of the ocean. But this happened yesterday as well. Something was charged up, and it charged everything up on the planet. Increasing wind speeds and storms, sending electron volts across the planet. And then we've got this beast of a storm, Brenda, who is heading to the United Kingdom, bringing, bringing strong winds, gusty condi conditions in Ireland. These storms are getting very large. Now, thousands of people are fleeing from volcanoes, but also thousands of people are being affected by flooding conditions across the southeastern United States as that extreme weather event swept across the nation two days ago, sprouting tornado warnings across five states. So this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, I was 
thinking that there's there's got to be an electrical discharge or something yesterday around the planet. This is overlooking the Philippines. And you can see the huge cloud here. That is the eruption from the tall volcano. But if you look at all the clouds around in the area, they're, they're following ley lines. And those are magnetic ley lines of our magnetic field. And so that's why I say something charged our planet yesterday. Sending large eruptions across three volcanoes. Ecuador, Philippines, and as well, Sakurajima, Japan. Look forward to the volcanic activity report coming up tonight. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Overlooking the northern hemisphere, we're going to start out here with Tropical Storm Brenda heading into the United Kingdom. Bringing strong winds, of course, and a lot of rain. Coastlines, there's already video footage coming out of... Uh, Huge waves crashing an island, but this Greenland monster is a beast of a storm. This low pressure system just went beast mode, and it looks like a hurricane heading to the United Kingdom. Crazy stuff. Let's get to the United States and Canada, across the nation here. It's going to get cold, very cold, extremely dangerously cold. Minus 38 and minus 40, even colder throughout parts of Edmonton. Watch for a large nor'easter to form and head into the Atlantic provinces later in the week. And as well, a winter storm forming here in northwestern Rockies, forming an Alberta clipper. And that is what will be affecting the Atlantic provinces in eastern Canada later in the week. But it's the temperatures that are the big story. Edmonton is now colder. It's the coldest place on the planet, even colder than the North Pole and the South Pole. Crazy stuff. Across the Pacific Ocean, watching a large low pressure system spinning, heading into the North Pole, straight to the North Pole. And then we've got this beast of a cyclone as well, which we were talking about yesterday. But look at the moisture that is associated with this low pressure system. It is freaking massive. It, it's like half the size. Well, it's the size of Australia. But it's just... Speaking of Australia, you guys do have some relief coming. There is rain. Thank God, Australia. You're going to see the rain. It is coming. The relief from the forest fires. A little something is better than nothing. And that's pretty much it from around the world for extreme weather that I wanted to point out. I want to thank you all for watching today. Welcome all my new subscribers to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis, disaster alerts from around the world. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. God bless humanity. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.